Okay, continuing on on our video series of moving up in the organization techniques and um, methods for achieving fit, I want to talk to you about uh, gender etiquette in the workplace. And this can be a touchy subject, but it's important to uh, bring out some of the commonalities of understanding. Um, when addressing uh, a female in the organization in a letter or writing, address them MS, period not M-I-S-S, -S. even if you know they're married, not M-R-S, uh, uh, M-S. It's uh, appropriate etiquette and it's, and it's uh, a neutral form of salutation. Okay, um, so soften gender pronouns when you can. Don't always uh, jump to him, her, he, um, or excuse me, him or uh, his when you're using pronouns to refer to things, right? Um, you can obviously use the objective one, like one one could visit this place, you know, uh, in that way as as a um, as a noun. But when you're uh, identifying pronouns, don't naturally just simply make it him or his. Uh, you can you can also, and it's equally grammatically correct to use her or um, or hers uh, again to uh, it just shows some openness to uh, the feminine uh, form of the pronoun okay um, guys uh, be careful with space dominance it's, it's a general tendency that bigger individuals have typically overconfident individuals uh, males who when they sit down, you spreading your feet wide and having your legs wide at a common sitting space, it claims more room and more territory, causing other people to sit more closely together. While it may be subconscious, uh, that still has a negative effect or, or negative um, uh, perception from others. So be conscious of your space and uh, place in space. Don't invade onto other people's uh, space because again, it's it's a um, tendency that invites conflict or invites uh, disdain from others. Okay, uh, opening the door. Now you can open the door for anyone. It is a very courteous and nice gesture. Um, you don't have to limit it to uh, a male opening the door for female. Uh, you can go vice versa, a female opening the door for male. Again, it's just a courtesy. It's something nice to do, um, but again, it's not uh, it's not inappropriate in the workplace. Um, pulling out someone's chair. Uh, again, you, you have to be careful of this. It, it can be uh, perceived negatively, um, but generally, especially in some par parts of the country, it's still uh, received almost uh, uniformly as, as positive. So again, uh, know the area you're in, know the individuals you're dealing with, but um, it's just a subtle thing to, to uh, again, in an attempt to achieve uh, gender uh, neutrality uh, in the workplace. And then, uh, Again, business business meals do n never order for someone else. That is an antiquated activity. I bring these up because these are all things that I have seen on the episodes of Mad Men that have dramatically changed in the workforce, and they make great examples. You could go on forever uh, with this list of, of things to do and not do, but generally what you're looking for is to be courteous to everyone, to show uh, respect to everyone, um, careful with the situations where you uh, follow uh, antiquated activities activities of, of um, treating one, one gender differently than the other. And, um, and, and all in an effort to uh, achieve comfort and, and uniformity of treatment in the workplace.